Hey everyone. Oh, things don't get too loud. It is hot in here, which means sometimes the fans like to make a bit of noise. I don't mean like air conditioning. Maybe I do. Well, I kinda do. I mean like a computer fan. <laughs> I think it's okay right now, but yeah. I've done a video like this in a while. I don't know. It feels like a long time. It probably has only been like a couple weeks, honestly. Oh, what you gonna do? Oh, I didn't. Did they fix that? Ooh, when did that happen? Oh, I like that. That's really good. <sighs> How to do the last mini booster? Let's actually take a look at that one, just so we can uh, be fully certain. If I had like a an intro that I could stick to, not that it super matters, but like you know, could be fun. Mini boosters. In your head. You know, it made it to 110. Hey, that's not bad at all. I've been watching my last video. It is, it was, it was performing pretty poorly and I was a little bit sad about it because I really liked that video. Anyway, mini boosters. Where's the last mini boosters? Oh, there it is. Lexington, Kentucky. That is an ad. I do not need to be broadcasting an ad. Why is there an ad on my own video? Well, at least it encourages the algorithm to spread it. Predictions for March of the Machine. Urza's AI predictions for March of the Machines. Pollen Burst is a three mana red in. All right, so not really. Uh, no, no, no standardized intro. Cool, awesome. Let's go. Go! Oh, that, that's a loud chair. Let's not do that. Mm-mm-mm. Urza's AI mini boosters! Go! Demon! Keep, now let's try it again. Welcome to Urza's AI mini boosters! Today we're using Go! Demon Kingdom! Darkling Aristocrat is a 4 mana red 3 2 human wizard. Whenever a creature you control dies, you gain one life. She thinks the smoke in her chamber is less unpleasant than the memories of her abduction. Hey, it's Simon! Not to cause any alarm, but have you ever seen a bird? Are they even real? I have! I've seen a bunch of birds. They come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes. That's lovely to see you, Simon. How have you been? Are there not birds where you are? Did you not see birds when you were in, uh... You were in Toronto for a little bit. Lots of pigeons in Toronto. Welcome to Earth's AI... Wait, now I should introduce myself. Hmm, how do I want to enter this, actually? Hello, everyone! No, I can't do that. <laughs> I wanted to pick up a pigeon so bad. I know, right? They're so... I don't know what the word is. Plump. What about me? I'm doing pretty well. It is getting hot here, though. It is starting to get up in temperature. And the weird thing is, my haul is perfect temperature but my room is sweltering i hate that it's like what what it's right there anyway i'm just gonna do i'm just doing a quick little video um and then later i'm playing lancer with b and my cousin so that's gonna be great hello and welcome to urza's ai mini boosters i'm darcy bits and today's theme is goat demon kingdom Darkling Aristocrat is a 4-mana red 
Red, that's a weird way of saying that. Darkling Aristocrat is a 4 mana red 3 2 human wizard. Whenever a creature you control dies, you gain 1 life. She thinks the smoke in her chamber is less unpleasant than the memories of her abduction. Depraved Thrall. I hit my I hit my stuff. Depraved Thrall is a 5 mana 4 4 green beast. When Depraved Thrall enters the battlefield, target creature and opponent controls gets minus one minus one until end of turn. It wants to go where the demons go, to wherever they've gone. Chaos Maw is a five mana black five five elemental. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice a creature. For five mana, create a two two black and red elemental creature token. Its teeth are tipped with obsidian, and it feeds on the very souls of its victims. So far, none of these are really anything. Tarantulant is a 4 mana green 4 3 insect. Whenever Tarantulant. Tarantulant is a 4 mana green 4 3 insect. Whenever Tarantulant blocks or becomes blocked, you may have it deal damage equal to its power to target creature. Nice. Whenever they rise from the swamps, all hell breaks loose. Not a black card, though. Ominous Dusklight is a. Ominous Dusklight is a 6 mana 7 5 green insect with trample. Whenever Ominous Dusk. Light deals combat damage to a player, you may sacrifice it. If you do, draw two cards. I thought the darkness would protect us, but I was wrong. Duskbringer Elvish Exile. Hmm. Cobra Pair is a 2 mana 2 1 red goblin rogue with something. Whenever Cobra Pair deals combat damage to a player, create a treasure token. It's an artifact. With tap, sacrifice this artifact. Add one mana of any color. Flee! If they follow us, they will be a war. Flee! If they follow us, they will be our most devious pets. Chen Husun to his comrades before leading the assassins to a trap. There's a lot to unpack there. Swooping Boar is a 5 mana green 4 3 boar with trample. Whenever Swooping Boar attacks, it gets plus 3 plus 0 oh until end of turn. Brings it up, what, 5 mana 7 3? Mm. No boars heard the cry of a sentry as eerily clear as the sound of the alarm system when the city goes dark. These have all been weak. Whisper Scale Apparition is a 4 mana black 3 3 shapeshifter. Whenever Whisper Scale Apparition or another non token creature you control dies, you may return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Hmm. You may speak with the dead. You may see the souls of any creature you have seen before. Hinterland Recluse is a 2 mana 2 2 green elf. Hinterland Recluse can't be blocked by creatures with power 3 or greater. Fungus Demon is a 5 mana 2 4 green insect. It has reach. Whenever Fungus Demon dies, when Fungus Demon dies, create a 1 1 green sapperling creature token. I'm just gonna start this over, this sucks. Dreg Chomper is a 5 mana green plant demon. It's a 4-4. Four, four. For green, 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 Dreg Chomper gets plus 2, plus 2 until end of turn. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just going to actually re-roll all these, I think. I'm not happy with them. Let's try that again. Cool card flavor wise, shapeshifter that lets you speak with the dead is a neat concept. Yeah, you can see that. I just want to see more goat demons. Where are my goat demons at? That's what I want to know.
Blood Chaser is a two mana red 1-1 one, one orc. For red and tap, Blood Chaser deals one damage to target creature you don't control. He doesn't have to tell his stories. The whispers of the wind do it for him. Blood Cerberus is a 4 mana 4-3 four, red devil. Blood Cerberus has haste as long as it's your turn. Cool, that's the only time that's relevant. It didn't ask for a reason to die, only a spot to spread its rot. Kerpluzen... Carpluzen Mauler is a 3 mana 3 1 black goat demon. When Carpluzen Mauler enters the battlefield, it fights up to one target creature you don't control. Whenever Carpluzen Mauler attacks, it deals one damage to any target. It maims and mangles, leaving little but dismembered flesh. Okay, this is interesting. So it's like a 4 mana sorcery speed, deal 3 damage to a creature, because it's going to die. But it's a may ability. Right? Or it's an up to one target, so effectively may. And then if it doesn't, if you have it stick around on the field, you can actually have it ping whenever it attacks. It's kind of a cool, like, alternate use case style card. Not sure if 3 for a 3 one's good enough, but cool. Throat Slitter is a 3 mana 3 2 black dinosaur with death touch. Any amount of damage this deals to a creature is enough to destroy it. Throat Slitter attacks each combat if able. Huh. Okay. Throat Slitters never grow. Birch of the Birch Lore Bioregion is a 2 mana green 2 1 elf druid. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may put a spore counter on Birch of the Birch Lore Bioregion. For 3 mana, add green. Spores you control have death touch. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. It's not enough to seek an elvish life. You must see the beauty of a druid's path as well. Vovaka, Birch Life Elder. Hey there, Bonsai. Didn't see you come in. I missed you at first. How are you? I know I haven't been, like, streaming lately, so... Very cool. Didn't expect, uh, you know, anyone to notice that I was going live. That's rad. Just plan on doing a quick video. Figured I might as well stream it. What Simon say? Deals damage to any target is neat. Theoretically, you could ping a non-creature enchantment. Oh, did I actually say that? Um, deals damage to any target. Yeah. I mean, hey, can it battles? Slum Stalker is a four mana three three red beast. For red, Slum Stalker gets plus one plus zero until end of turn. Basic fire breathing. There is a small and fragile foothold in the slum. The goblins know it, but are reluctant to let go. Necromancer's Servant is a 2 mana 1 1 black devil. Whenever a creature you control deals. That's not what that says. Necromancer's Servant is a 2 mana black 1 1 devil. Whenever a creature you control dies, put a 1 1 counter on Necromancer's Servant. Witches and their familiars are so nice. Stigasmodo, murdered. murdered. demonarch. I do imagine this devil would enjoy um, witches and their familiars. If you know what I'm saying? Hi, Darcy. I hope you're doing well. I am doing well. It is just hot. <laughs> it's getting warm, and I don't like it. <laughs> I was saying this earlier to Simon, but like in the hall, it is perfectly tempered. It's just like exactly what I want it to be all the time. But in this room, stuffy and humid. It's just like, it's right there. Anyway. <laughs> so weird. Hollow One is a 3 mana 3-1 three green elemental. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice a creature unless you pay green. It is trample. Cool. She makes no claim to any inheritance, but she does her best to stand up for her kind. Blood Feaster is a 3-mana black 3-1 vampire. 
When Blood Feaster enters the battlefield, sacrifice a creature. If you do, Blood Feaster deals one damage to each opponent, and you gain one life. Oh. Huh. Nice. I like that. Hunting? Is that what we do? Goat of the Empty Heads. Ooh. Ravager Growth is a 2-mana, 0-0 zero, zero green plant wall! Yes! I love a plant wall! Ravager's Growth enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it, where X is the number of creature cards in your graveyard. Notably, this plant wall doesn't have Defender. So... You know... Cool EB though, I like that ETB. The flesh of the once forever shrub is more delicious than the crumbling walls of its cradle. Carnifex Pilgrimon. Pil Pilgrimon. Pil is a 5 mana 2 2 red goat. Whenever Carnifex Pilgrimon attacks, it gets plus 2 plus 0 until end of turn. 5 mana 4 2, huh? Nice. Bold adventurers don't follow rules, they set them. Seneschal, Carl, Goblin, Lieutenant. Gruel Hellraiser is a 3 mana black 2 2 Ogre Demon. Gruel Hellraiser can't block. Gruel Hellraiser gets plus 1 plus 1 as long as an opponent controls a black permanent. Gruel, the Madden. Well, okay. It's just bad. Crowd Favorite is a 4 mana black Star Star Shapeshifter. Ca Crowd Favorite's power and toughness are each equal to the number of non white creatures you control. When Crowd Favorite dies, each opponent loses one life. Crowd Favorite rides a thunderstorm of fury. <laughs> yeah, sure. Goblin Mentor is a 4 mana 2 2 red Goblin Shaman. Goblin creatures you control get plus one plus zero oh, and have haste. The apprentice is the student's guide to his student. Oh, I thought it said to his students, to his studies. Yeah, that. Yeah. Demon Lord of the Harvests is a three mana three two green goat demon. Other goats you control get plus one plus one and have first strike. Yeah, goat demon, goat demon. His followers serve at his whim, sacrificing their lives and fortunes to satisfy his needs. Tanglebriar Goblin is a 4 mana 2 2 red goblin. Tanglebriar Goblin can't block. Red, Tanglebriar Goblin gets plus 1 plus 0 until end of turn. Nice. The goblins of the briar, wherever you find them, have no natural enemies. If you find a nest, weep. Ulrich, Bogart Scout. Trample Riders is a 2 mana star star black dinosaur. Trample Riders' power and toughness are each equal to the number of non dinosaur creatures you control. Okay. <laughs> what a weird. <laughs> yeah, sure. It's like number of creatures you control minus one. <laughs> or I guess other creatures you control would also work. They bear the land's grudges on their bony shoulders. Impalehorn is a 2 mana 3-3 three, three vanilla dinosaur. Nice! No part of an Impalehorn could be... No part of an Impalehorn can be left unscathed, Elspeth. Sledge Slasher is a 4 mana black 3 2 goblin scout. Whenever Sledge Slasher blocks or becomes blocked by a creature, destroy that creature. Nice. Preemptive death touch. The smoldering slopes of a brawlin burn are home to a thriving scavengers community, but most outsiders are terrified of the goblins. Scarlet Rider is a 4 mana green 3 2 elf shaman. Whenever Scarlet Rider becomes blocked, you may gain 2 life. She took the form of a horse in the night, but even her savior couldn't see her couldn't see her in the light of day. Sc 
Skirk Aspirant is a 2-mana 1-1 green elf. When Skirk Aspirant enters the battlefield, search your library for up to 3 cards. Exile them, then shuffle. Deck thinning? It's like targeted deck thinning. That's kind of cool. I kind of like that. Would you pay 2 mana for a 1-1 one -one for some deck thinning? I don't know, that just like struck me as like, kinda cool. Weird. No need to change my shot, my child. No need to change my child. You're beautiful the way you are. Skirk Aspirant to its offspring. That makes sense. Orcish War Party is a three mana red. Orcish War Party is a three mana red 2 3 giant. It has haste and red. Orcish War Party gets plus one plus oh until end of turn. A lot of fire breathing in this set. It doesn't have to be this way. Xander, Soldier of Garuk. Landmines is a four mana black sorcery. Destroy target land. The little goats don't seem like the rough terrain of landmines. Yeah, that checks out. Ghost Lion is a 3 mana red and green 3-3 three, three dinosaur. Okay, I didn't see that coming. As long as your devotion to red and green is less than 5, Ghost Lion has indestructible. Any damage that would destroy it ignores that effect and still deals that wait wait i, I read through that fast because i assumed it was going to be rote but no it actually any damage that would destroy it ignores that effect and still that and still deals that much damage um it's kind of correct weirdly like that reminder text is weird but being indestructible does not mean you don't take damage it means you just don't get destroyed it's not wrong. Remember. Forest Scout is a 6 mana 2 4 green elf scout. For 3 mana, Forest Scout gets plus 2 plus 2 until end of turn. The trees never tire of waiting for the elves to return. Feral Imp is a 2 mana 2 1 green lizard. Sacrifice a land, regenerate target lizard. <laughs> regenerate target lizard. Yeah! <laughs> the more minds a creature possesses, the more violent its lust for life. Actually, let's talk about... I want to talk about lizards for a second. If I'm not mistaken, and I very much might be. So, Lizard is a type. We know this. There are 73 Lizards. Some of them are uncards, but that's not important right now. What's interesting, if I'm not mistaken, is that, like, there's other types that are, like, very similar. Like, I think Chameleon is a type. Did I spell Chameleon wrong? What am I thinking of? I thought it was a card called Covert Chameleon. Am I just completely incorrect here? What's that one called? If it's not Covert Chameleon. Hmm. All right. You know what? I might just be thinking of this uncard, which is a chameleon in its type line. Hmm. Oh, a lot of champions. That's not helpful. Alright, what was I thinking of? Clandestine Chameleon, not Covert Chameleon. Okay. Clandestine Chameleon... Clandestine Chameleon is a 4-mana green 4-3 lizard guest from Unfinity. It's got a bunch of text. That's not important right now. What's important is that it's a lizard guest despite being a chameleon. I'm not saying that chameleons aren't lizards. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is 
And then I guess I put a cut here. This is a weird segment. What am I doing? In a previous unset, we had Surgeon Crossed Out General Commander, which is a 4-mana green 3-3 three, three, legendary creature Wombat Bat Chameleon. Now... It's unset, it's a joke, so it's fine. But it is interesting that this is a chameleon, not a lizard. But chameleon is the typing, as we can see on clandestine chameleon. Honestly, I thought there was another example of this, but I guess not. Where just like, the original, like... I thought there was another chameleon. Is there another chameleon by name? Is it also... There's Chameleon Colossus, which is not a chameleon, which is probably fine. They don't mean chameleon as the animal. I guess it also is technically a chameleon, or at least it's a lizard. It makes you wonder, does it count as a chameleon? Is chameleon a real creature type? If chameleons are lizards as their creature type. This was a pointless segment. That'll be fun to, for me to edit later, maybe. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. The more minds a creature possesses, the more violent its lust for life. I might have read that already. I don't remember. Raging Ogre is a 5-mana 4-3 red ogre. As long as it's your turn, Raging Ogre gets plus 1, plus 1, and has Trample. 5-mana five 5-4 five, with Trample. Not terrible. Like a snowball, it builds momentum, growing more unstoppable with every punch. Orpheus, Thresher of the Gods. I want some more goat demons. Crushing Canopy is a 5-mana black sorcery. Destroy target land. Wow, that's just a 5-mana version of the previous card that we saw. The ravenous tree ripped through the ground, spitting forth spikes of dirt and death. Urgorka Shaman is a 5-mana red 3-4 orc. Whenever Urgorka Shaman or another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may draw a card. With each year that passes, the ogresses and goblins grow ever closer to killing us all. In this world of scavengers, you can't tell who will bite first. Kagamaro, Urgorka Shaman. Oh! Right. This is an orc talking about ogres and goblins. I see. That checks out. Vengeful Druid is a 5-mana green 2-2 two -two elf druid. For 3-mana, target creature gets plus 2 plus 3 until end of turn. For 3-mana, Vengeful Druid gets plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is the number of lands you control. Cool! So it can buff anything by 3 for 3, or it can buff itself for X for 3. Probably not good enough for 5. Maybe. I don't know. My beloved Earth would follow me into death. Where she... Were she not fated to return as well. Simon says, We could cast artificial evolution and change all lizards to chameleons. I guess. I mean, it just it makes you ask the question of, Does there need to be precedent for a card for it to count? And do uncards count as precedent? If we're going to be talking about this, let's go a little bit further. So, I've talked about this in the past. Child is a creature type from the unsets. Okay, a real handful, infernal spawn of infernal spawn of evil, little girl, and meddling kids. Um, also, we Champion. What makes we Champion special is that it is actually legal. Which means there is a legal card that has a creature type that was only ever on un cards. And it makes you wonder, does that count? Is that, is that, is that actually a real creature type now? Because there's plenty of children that are not children. Like, Child of Alara! <laughs> <laughs> a 
That's maybe not a great example. Child of the Pack is maybe a better example. <laughs> <laughs> Point being is, they're not gonna oracle child of the pack to being a child. So, is it a real creature type? And does there even need to be precedent of creature type for a changeling to be that creature type? Could I make one up? I don't know what the benefit of that would be, but is that legal? I don't actually know. In the same way that Shrine is not a creature type, right? It is an enchantment type. There was this whole hullabaloo about how Shrine is not a creature type, despite there being creatures that are shrines. They are enchantment creature shrines. But if you can have a creature type... If shape, if changeling makes you every creature type and non-printed creature types count, then that would mean you could have creature type shrines. And the cards don't say enchantment shrines, they just say shrines. So like, I'm just, it's a stupid discussion. I propose you change all instances of Jace with child. <laughs> Thank you, Simon. Alpine Moth is a four mana. I almost said red. My brain just like goes. Alpine Moth is a four mana green 2 2 insect with flying. For two mana, target creature with flying gets plus two plus two until end of turn. Cool, so it can just buff itself because it is flying, but you can also pass that buff around. I actually really like this card. The most graceful and noble of the moths. Some say it was named after the noise it makes as it glides over the grass. I love the idea. This is this is a real thing that exists in real life where like something has a is named in such a way that you think it's descriptive, but it's actually named after something. Like I don't know. Angel Falls or a waterfall named after the person who discovered them, whose last name was Angel. This stuff happens. So the idea of Alpine Moth not actually being, like, found in Alpine regions. Instead, they simply make the noise Alpine as they fly. <laughs> it's very, very silly. <laughs> Carnival of Blood Shards. A five-mana red 2-2 two, two Goblin Shaman. Something, something, something. Plus one, plus one counter on it. Probably enters the battlefield with. If a creature died this turn. Ah, that makes sense. Whenever a creature is put into your graveyard from the battlefield, if it shares a creature type with Carnival of Blood Shards, create a 1-1 red goat creature token. We got a goat! Oh, you disgusting thing. We will use your lives to build our castle. Then you can rot in the dungeon, and we can enjoy your meat. Urabrask, Goblin Hero. I can imagine a, a goblin named Urabrask. Dwath... Do Dwathi? I've seen that word before. That's a word that's used in magic sometimes. Dwathi. Dwathi. Dwathi Ogre is a 3-mana 2-2 two, two green ogre. Whenever a player casts a blue spell, you may gain one life. Hades doesn't look kindly on evildoers. He does look kindly on friends who know how to bring down his retinue. Douthi, Amadi, Ranger. Molten Slagback is a 3-mana 2-2 two, two green ooze. This spell costs one less to cast for each land you control. Oh. So turn one, it would cost you three, and then turn two, it would cost you one. Okay, so you're saying it costs one, but I can't cast it on turn one. I'm kind of into that, right? Like, only costs one, but you can't cast it until turn two. Cool. When the moon hits a boulder, it explodes. When the moon hits a slag back, it fizzes. Oops, I moved over slightly. 
Whoop. Master of Ethereum is a 6-mana red 4-3 Minotaur Shaman. This spell costs 2 less to cast for each basic land type among lands you control. Tap, target creature gets plus 2 plus 0 until end of turn. I kind of like this. I don't know if... I'm not sure... I feel like I had a point. Let me think about this better. It's probably not balanced correctly, but I do like the idea of saying, oftentimes with domain, right, the idea of effects that scale off of the number of land types you have, they end up having this thing where they're only really good at like four or five, which is cool, but it it just means that they, they don't see play in other things, and oftentimes you don't want them to be better than that, because if they're better if they're like good at two or three, and then they're even continue to scale at four to five, it ends up being too strong. So you have to like base it around four and five. But having it be like, yeah, 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 this thing turns on, this thing hits its max at two. So it goes into all your two mana things. Cool. Now that does mean that this at baseline, unless you're playing like non basics or whatever, is four mana, four, three. Yeah, if you're in mono red, it's 4 mana, 4, 3. And you kind of want to be... This card's actually kind of cool. I kind of like this. Because you need two red sources to cast it. So, even two colors is, like, a little bit uncomfortable. Right, yeah, if you if you have a, a mountain and a non-mountain... Unless you have a card that gives you multiple land types, which, you know, does exist, but, like, let's ignore that for now. You still can't actually cast it on turn two. You'd have to wait till turn three so you have mountain, mountain, and something else to be able to cast it for two mana. I like this. His elemental allies and all of Kuhn's keepers. Training takes comfort in the iron resolve of their lord. All right, I feel like I'm just rambling at this point. I am definitely overheated. I think I'm gonna just go until there's another goat reference and then call it done. So that, that's our that's our hard out, is something about goats. Burning Tree Shaman is a three mana red 2-2 two -two goblin shaman. For red, Burning Tree Shaman gets plus one plus zero oh until end of turn. Activate only once each turn. Oh wow, it's just like the worst version of fire breathing. Our survival depends on the ability to bring death to our enemies. Our glory depends on our numbers. Naru Meha. Naru Meha, the burned god. Wall of Horrors is a three mana green one one human warrior. It has defender. Whenever Wall of Horrors is attacked, Put a 1-1 one, one counter on Wall of Horrors. Huh. You don't attack creatures. Not how that works. The goats that provided the stones that created the wall were slaughtered by an orc. Hmm. Flavor text doesn't count. Carrion Behemoth is a 3-mana green 4-3 giant warrior. Whenever Carrion Behemoth attacks, each other creature defending player controls gets plus one plus oh until end of turn. I do like an under costed thing with a cool drawback like buffing the opponent's board. That's kind of fun. 4-3 um, is not that great. Like I feel like a vanilla 4-3 for three, 3 would be perfectly fine. So, meh. His battle cry is like the shriek of the sky falling. Gremlin Mound is a 5-mana 0-4 red gremlin. It has Defender. Tap Gremlin Mound gets plus 1, plus 0 oh until end of turn. Huh. So it's a 5-mana 0-4 oh that when it blocks, you can tap it to make it a 1-4? It's really bad. I do like Gremlin Mound as a name. It reminds me of Blight Pile, which is also a Defender. Not a wall, but it is a Defender. Is it a wall? I don't think it's a wall. It's like an Abomination or something. 
Anyway, in its hollow heart, its chest is forever pressed to the warm beating of its own blood. Let me just move down so there we go. Giant Sunflower is a 5-mana green 3-4 plant beast! Yeah! When Giant Sunflower dies, create 2 1-1 one, one green sapling creature tokens. Cool! It has two eyes on the end of its spiky flower head, and the sap of its stalk is used to clean cutlery. What? Beast Caller is a 6 mana green 5 5 beast. For 4 mana, regenerate Beast Caller. For 4 mana, Beast Caller gets plus 2 plus 2 and gains trample until end of turn. Meh. The first thing goblins learn to fight. The first things goblins learn to fight is. The first thing goblins learn is to fight goblins. The second thing they learn is that killing goblins makes them popular. Yeah, it checks out. Night Vale Mage is a 3 mana 2 1 black zombie wizard with flying. When Night Vale Mage enters the battlefield, you may exile a non zombie creature you control. If you do, create a 1 1 black and green insect creature token with flying. Huh. So you can like upgrade something to a flying insect. Huh. Mm, something that's relevant. It's a 3 mana 2 1 with flying. It's not bad. She peers through the veils of night and day, finding what others miss. Sukasa Sage is a 4 mana 1 1 red goblin shaman. Tap. Sukasa Sage deals 1 damage to target player or planeswalker. 1 hut. 1 army. Infinite potential. Sukata. Shaman saying. Oh, Sukata song shop. Sukata shaman saying. There we go. I'm actually at the end of the page, I just realized. Ooh. You know what? Not a goat, but this is our last one. I guess I could keep rolling if I wanted to. Squee and Flailers is a four mana red 2 2 goblin with haste. For red red, Squee and Flailers gets plus one plus O oh until end of turn. Goblin spells are as effective as elvish magic. Oh. Nice. Maw of the Mothflowers is a five mana black sorcery. Maw of the Mouthflowers deals three damage to target creature, and you gain three life. When you have no clue where to find the blood, they give you some clues. But before I can, I'll need to see your... Infernal Punisher is a 4 mana red 4-4 four, four goat demon! It has haste and Infernal Punisher attacks each combat if able. That's... I'm so disappointed. For our final goat demon, it, I mean, it's fine. There are many ways to hurt a demon, and few who can withstand it. Anax, Akros, High Priest. Well, that brings us to the end. We got one last goat demon. Have a good day, everyone. I'll see you whenever I do another thing. It's been spotty lately. <laughs> good night. Cool, that works. Hi, everyone. Thanks for hanging out. It was really nice to see you. I was not expecting that. Bonsai says thank you for the stream. Oh, thank you. And it's on Theros. What? Oh, because of Akros? Nice. <laughs> Seems appropriate. Good night, Bonsai. Good night, Simon.